Hey everybody, welcome to the next episode of The Obsession. I'm Carl Bethke. Um, it's good to be week two here in southern Wisconsin for turkey season, my particular season. And uh, we're coming to the end. It's been raining all week. The weather's been miserable for turkey hunting. I mean, we've actually uh, kicked our own butts multiple times with, with a lot of the rain. Um, just getting soaked and just absolutely crushed. So, uh, I actually got a couple new products here from True Glow and from New Fletch. So let's talk about two products that uh, we actually got here. We got uh, True Glow's mechanical four bladed expandable broadhead. That's uh, a titanium ferrule with stainless steel blades. Four blade opens up both directions, vertically and horizontally. Uh, should be a really great head. We're going to use these for turkeys this year. A few of the guys and girls will be chasing turkeys with the expandable from True Glow. So be sure to see what happens there. Uh, and then we have the new igniter knock from New Fletch. Um, it's a newer company. We've actually started working with them this year. Um, they've actually got an insert that fits inside your arrow, an aluminum insert fits inside your arrow, a little light fits inside of that and a knock goes over the top of that. Actuates like all other lighted knocks on the shot, the light comes on. Uh, to shut it off, you'll actually pull the knock completely out, pull the little light out. Shut the light off, put the light back in, put the knock back on it. If you want to practice with it, just don't put the light in it. Put it right back into your shaft. Uh, just run it like you would your normal knock, and then when it comes time to hunt, put the little light in it, go ahead and hunt with it. Uh, they work great. They last a long time. You guys will see us do a little review on these here shortly, so stick around for that. But today, we're going to go to a couple turkey hunts here in Wisconsin. Uh, one with Wes White, and then another one with his wife, Kayla White. And then I'm probably going to try and throw a little one in with me, actually, as some real short footage of a turkey I shot here. Um, would have been actually yesterday. And he came in silent with his brother, and it's not a lot of footage, but you guys get the gist of the hunt, so stick around for those three hunts. Thanks for watching The Obsession. I'll see you at the end of the show.
Well, we just got it done. Um, you'll have to excuse my calling. Uh, I didn't have a mouth call in, but we uh, we just got one. And there's still birds out here, so. A lot of birds. It's pretty exciting, huh? Yeah, they have been fast. Is. Wes came down here and put these birds to bed last night, so we knew there was four or five, six toms down here. We heard them gobbling right away this morning, real early when we set up, quarter after five or so. And all of a sudden, they all just came out as a big group. So, really happy to have them. Nice beard on them, nice spurs. Beautiful morning out, so happy to have had some luck. What's going on, guys? It's the second day of turkey season, second week in Wisconsin. I got the obsession turmoil with me tonight, I'm trying to take a turkey. We got the Dakota decoys out, set out. I've got a, a breeding hen, an upright hen, and a jake. We're up, up on one of my food plots here, the spot we call the Oasis. A couple apple trees in here, and a real good clover plot. So We're expecting these turkeys to come in here tonight. We've seen two birds, two toms yesterday. Uh, one actually coming in and one going out, and they were both near this plot. So I'm hoping they come in and out of here tonight. I'm only going to hunt until 6 p.m. Got some guys come over to check out some obsession bows at the Rush Outdoors Archery Pro Shops. So I'll be showing those guys the bows. But hopefully, we'll be able to tur hook up with a nice Tom turkey. We'll see what happens. Stick around.
just missed that turkey. Went out to check. There's no slick, no nothing. No blood, just some feather pieces and mud. So, I don't feel so bad about that, but that was just stupid. <laughs> Having my uh, bow set at 40 yards, not even realizing it. Set everything else up perfect, but that didn't quite come through, so. Got that new Fletch knock on it. Uh, this is what we're gonna be going to this year, guys. Uh, they're really nice, real simple. You just pull it out, pull your light out, grab pull your light, pop it off, put it back in the back of the arrow, and you're ready to shoot again. Uh, myself, I'm shooting, this is the Black Eagle Deep Impact. I've actually got a 100 grain Gator XP by Rocky Mountain on that bad boy. It's an older head. Uh, I used to work with uh, Rocky Mountain years back. Had some of these laying around. I figured, heck, I'll use them for uh, turkey hunting. So we'll get that one all cleaned up. Make sure the blades are sharp. If they're not, I'll replace them because I have replaceable blades. And uh, we'll be ready to go. Hopefully, we'll be able to get another bird in here. Um, not really sure what will happen tonight. There's a few around. Well, it's May 2nd here in southern Wisconsin. It's the last day of second season turkey here in Wisconsin. Uh, weather definitely hasn't cooperated, but we've had our opportunities. Uh, I actually missed twice with a bow. Brought the shotgun out today. Hoping we can get a bird to come into this inside corner. We've actually had birds cut this corner but go in the roost. So that's why we're set up here tonight. We've got two head decoys out. Got my lucky charm, my wife filming for me tonight so hopefully we'll be able to get a bird in. Uh, we did see five birds coming out. Um, one was a dom, that for sure. The last three I seen weren't too far from the blind here so I was a little disappointed in jumping them but it is what it is. Get in late, you gotta work. We'll see what happens. Stick around. battery died and we weren't able to do a recovery um, that's actually part of the reason the camera footage ended up being as bad as it was uh, 
battery was just going in and out at the very end. I didn't even check to see it. But needless to say, this picture of the bird, uh, he was 25 pounds, 9 inch beard, inch and 8 spurs. Great southern Wisconsin bird. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week. It's the first day here of the Wisconsin season. Uh, we got back from Kansas last night, and uh, I didn't go this morning. I went with somebody else, but we came in here at midday about noon, and uh, there was actually two tops right by the ground blind when we came in. They went into the woods, and they've been gobbling down in there. So we're going to sit here about an hour and a half, and two hours, and the rain's going to come. But it's actually raining a little bit right now, but it's really going to rain here in a little bit. So. Hopefully they come to the field and we can close the deal on one this afternoon. Stay tuned.
this. Like I said the rain just started to come, but we got in here midday and the town were gobbling crazy down in the valley. We knew it was just going to be a waiting game. Uh, the sprinkle when we got here and it's, it's starting to pick up right now, but uh, we closed the deal. They came in and came. I don't know if they were going to come with the decoys, but they put on a show for us strutting earlier. Came to the field, then I went back in the woods, and uh, they came back out and we got her done. So, a couple of the guys got a tag. Let's see if we can get another one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of the Obsession. Uh, a couple misses, and obviously, you guys seen that we got our birds. Um, you know, everybody has an opportunity. Uh, sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. Just wanted to show you that we're we're just normal people too. We miss also, so. It's not always about being able to get the kill on film. Uh, it's it's about the excitement and all that that goes into it. Sometimes you forget to set your pins. Sometimes <laughs> sometimes you don't. Uh, sometimes you just misjudge the yardage or misjudge the animal and miss completely. So stay tuned for next week. We'll show you guys a few more hunts. We're going to be going to Nebraska, some more Kansas hunting. Thanks for watching the obsession. We'll see you guys next week.